guys good morning it's your favorite babe your favorite tt kirsty valentine thank you guys for tuning on to my channel today we have a very important topic and it is something we all know about using your hand gels washing your hands and that has got to do with coronavirus and to be much more specific covid19 it's hit reality now um i've been this past weekend it was a lovely weather throughout the weekend and saturday and sunday it was like summer but you know what i did not leave my home i was inside i stayed in you know self-imposed quarantine it's not because um i've got the covid19 virus it's just because i'm taking precautions I'm taking precautions. I'm listening to listening to every news out there, every update about the COVID-19. Every day it is claiming lives. Every day the, the, the streets are becoming much more emptier. The shops are closing down. Um, <clears throat> the public transport are giving, if you go to the TFL or public transport website, they are giving warnings every day that do not use public transport except where you are going is important. I work in a place where I deal with people every day and it, it's very, very important. And um, I think uh, towards the uh, end of this week, I might have to start working from home. So I might have to call the IT department in my organization to send me a laptop so I could start working from home. Because every time I leave the front door of my home and get into public transport, or I'm just, you know, public transport, because where I work is impossible to park. I work in the city. And so I have no choice than to use the train or to use the bus. And so every time I, I, I board the public transport, I am so scared, but I do have my gels and I do have my gels. I do have my uh, disinfectant, but hey, you still have to protect yourself because there are some people who are carriers and they don't know they are carriers and they infect people. And so I try as much as possible not to touch surfaces because if someone who is a carrier stands in that area or happens to touch a rail or any surface at all, the COVID-19 virus stays and lives in that surface for three days. So you can imagine how many people use the public transport, getting and out of the train or getting and out of wherever they are, and that would say, say, touch that surface without knowing and pick up the, the virus. So you must, you must, you must um, use your hand gloves or the disinfect this this infant, infant, uh, this infant, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Disinfectant your hand. <laughs> Disinfectant. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's, I'm so stressed out concerning this, this uh, COVID-19, COVID this coronavirus thing. I don't know what to say again. I'm like exhausted. I'm done. Yeah. Your, your hands. Use an antibacterial gel for your hands all the time. Um, and then you put on your uh, disposable hand gloves. And even when you're wearing your disposable hand gloves, that is me. I also, 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 I still use my, this, you know, antibacterial. I still use it on my hand gloves. I still rub it on my hand gloves. And I have um, antibacterial antivirus spray. Um, it's it's in my bag. I spray it all over myself. I spray it on the rails around me. I spray, you know, I spray it around me. And I personally, I'm taking that responsibility, personal responsibility, to make sure that I am okay. And even when I leave that space, the next person who will sit there is safe because it's already been disinfected. So I'm taking it upon myself personally as an individual taking up that responsibility to adhere to the warnings and precaution that medical personalities, that the pres presidents, you know, President Trump, the Prime Minister of Britain, people all over the place are coming out uh, uh, and advising everyone to uh, please, you know, adopt 
and practice. But here you are, you have some people who don't care. I mean, I got in the bus today, there were some people without hand gloves, there were some people without masks, you know, and you know, not only are they putting themselves at risk, if they want to put themselves at risk, fair enough, they can put themselves at risk. But when they jeopardize the hard work of other people, and they put other people um, in the same space as them, when they put them at risk, that is the point. Because um, what people, every one of us, every individual, every person is trying to achieve and what the government is trying to achieve is to make sure that we are able to curb this disease and avoid it from spreading around and killing more people and then to find a cure and let it go. And some people, uh, uh, ordinary men and women in the street, you find some of them, few people, old, young, don't even care. And it is so, 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 so annoying when some people would choose to come sit close to you when they are supposed not to, they are supposed to give distance. I mean, I was in the bus last week and I was, I went right upstairs. I left downstairs because a man came with his young son who was clearly coughing. And that child shouldn't be outside. The child was not wearing any hand glove. He wasn't putting on any mask. And this man was talking so loud on his phone, on his mobile phone, not even considering other people in the book. It was so, so annoying. You could easily get up and just give him a ten hand on his head and say to him, are you so dumb? Are you so stupid? You, 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 you want to do that. But you have to hold yourself because some people are so just, I don't know what to say. And I left my seat and I went upstairs and there was clearly there was only one person sitting upstairs. So I stayed away and went right to the back of the bus. And so when the bus was going, people were coming. There were two other people who came into the bus and sat in the bus. And normally at that time, when I'm going to work early in that morning, you couldn't even get to see the whole bus is packed because people leave early. And they're going towards the city, they're going to work. They want to catch that train. They want to avoid the rush hour uh, before the rush hour builds up. So people get in the bus, you know, early. The bus is packed, you know, packed, everywhere packed, no seat. But now, you, you, it's, it's like the seats are now the passengers. Uh, humans are now the seat. You know what I mean? It's now the opposite of each other. So I sat on the seat right at the back towards the end upstairs at the back of the, the back of the bus and then this man came in he had no hand gloves on he had no mask on he walked past all the seats that were empty and he came to sit two seats away from me i was so i was so pissed and he was talking so loudly on his phone i was so pissed i just got up I went to the middle, far, far away from him, and I started spraying. It was so annoying. These are the sort of things that you get. These are in, in, in a society where everyone is working hard. The NHS is almost is overstretched, you know. The Prime Minister of Britain had to ask um, that 65,000 retirees, retired nurses, retired doctors, she come back to the NHS to come help. I mean, even the nurses who are working in the hospitals right now, if you go on any website, they are exhausted and they are pleading for volunteers to come in and help them in the hospital. Yeah? I, I was coming today. I was so scared. If I see anybody walking towards me, I cross over to the other side. And last week on Friday, I saw a lady, an African lady, she had no mask on. She had no hand gloves on. She had three of her kids under the age of 10 with school uniform going to school. She didn't put any mask on them. She didn't put any hand gloves. I couldn't help it. And I said, excuse me, you are exposing these children. She said, God, God, God. Sometimes I wonder why some of our African people so stupid. Why are they so stupid? And today, I, I'm... I, I was coming to work and I saw the same lady. You know what? She saw me coming. I just went the other side. Most of the schools are short. Of course, we know that 
parents want their children to uh, study, but your children have to be in good health to be able to study. Most schools are short, most head teachers are shutting down their schools because some of their teachers are coming up with infections. And this is a stupid African woman still taking her kids to school with her hand gloves or mask. Who do you think you are? I mean, there is God. We all know there is God, but God has given us a brain for free, tax free. He is giving out wisdom and knowledge. Why can't some of us use it properly? I'm going to put some videos, the reality of what's going on in London, because I think London is heading towards a, a lockdown, like so many other countries in Europe. London is heading towards a lockdown. You can't even go to the shop as normal to do your shopping anymore. There are so many restrictions. I'm running out of shopping in my house. I'm running out of food in my house. I can't wait to get paid and then go do my shopping on Thursday. That is if I'm allowed to purchase everything I normally purchase. And I'm so scared going to do my shopping on Thursday. Because you're going to get, get in contact with a lot of people. And people are going to be squashing and moving. You know, I'm really, really scared about that. I'm worried about that. I'm concerned about that. And then when you say you want to do your shopping online, when are they going to deliver it? Because I'm running out of food in my house. This is the reality of um, coronavirus. This is the reality of COVID. Please do not forget to subscribe by pressing uh, uh, subscribe to my channel, Kirsty Valentine. Support this channel. Leave a comment and that way we keep our conversation rolling. And Please always remember to share this video. We need, we need to educate ourselves. We need to take our own personal responsibilities. We are saving ourselves. We are saving others as well as saving our environment as well. And always remember to push the thumbs up for like and pro, um, press that red button uh, on the right of your screen to subscribe to my channel. I will constantly update you as much as possible uh, so you know the reality of what's going on. Until our next video. I say Okay. Yeah, this is my local shop. This is me. I'm on my way to work. I'm well protected. And the thing is that usually in the mornings I stop by to get my lunch stuff on my way to work. But now I'm not able to do anything. I will clip um in this video pictures um the notice on the main entrance we say it's only open for two hours to vulnerable adults. So if I turn the camera around, you're gonna see what's going on. The candy shopping, people at the door. Yeah. So that's it, that's coronavirus is real. Um, hi, lo and behold, this is Kirsty. I'm on my way to to my office in West London. I boarded the train from from Finchley Central. I just wanted to look at the train, see how empty it is. Look at the platform; it's very empty. You see that all this is because of the coronavirus. So stay tuned. Surprisingly, the train is so empty. People, I think, people are now beginning to uh, really take coronavirus serious. Um, I don't think a lot of people are going to physically living and traveling and going to the office. I think most people are now working from home. Usually, at this time, um, you can't even get a seat. It's really, really bad with this line. If you look at the carriage. You can see how empty it is. The next station yeah. is West Kensington. This is a district line. Like if you look at the platform, it's, it's empty. Usually you have people struggling to get out of the train or trying to come in. So I guess people are just being extra cautious and a lot of people are working from home. I told my manager, I said, maybe from next week I'll start working from home because I cannot constantly put myself at risk. So people are now beginning to take it really, really seriously. It is real, so coronavirus is real. So stay tuned, I'll, I'll keep you updated. All right, take care. Bye. See, I got my hand closed on. 
got my mask on. I have another extra mask in my bag. And I also have my... I've got my disinfectant with me. So that's how the coronavirus is. This time, it is so busy. You couldn't even get off the carriage or get into the carriage. It's just empty. This is the West Kensington Station. There is no one on the platform. Usually at this time, it is so busy. You couldn't even get off the carriage or get into the carriage. So stay tuned when I get to Ely Broadway Station. I will do another quick video so you can have a look and see how coronavirus has affected and is affecting the lives of everybody. Take care. I have another extra mask in my bag and I also have 